Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with the Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 13th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to start off here today with the Pacific Disaster Center, looking at our long list of disasters from around the world, from floods to fires to typhoons, uh, tropical storms, and you can see there are more floods and fires than ever before. Looking through this long list, all the tsunami warnings yesterday from the large 6.4 in Alaska earthquake. Now it's also followed by a 6.0. But then all these fires uh, in Russia, Australia, Africa, North America. It's crazy, folks. Stay aware and prepared. This is a long list, and it just keeps going and going and going. A lot of these updated in the last 24 hours, so there are a lot of new fires now. We're going to look at NASA Worldview here, and you can see the forest fires in Australia from above here. I don't know if you can see it right now. But if you look right here, we can see these small streams of smoke. Those are from the forest fires in northwestern Australia and northeastern Australia. Smoke just billowing out into the Indian Ocean. Very large fire there in northwestern Australia. The smoke is seen going drifting right across the Indian Ocean. Very interesting times we're living in, folks. And thank you for joining me. To all my new subscribers, welcome to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, where I post my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. I'm showing you NASA worldview here over North America over the last few days. Um, an inundated Canada with smoke. And you can see, even through the valleys of the Rockies here, those valleys are filled right up with smoke. Um, and it's starting to clear out here in Alberta now, but still the new fires in California, new fires in Washington, new fires in BC, show ain't over yet, that's for sure. And this is overlooking Russia, and the Pacific Ocean, Africa, dust storm forming off of the west coast of Africa. And also look at all this dirty, nasty smoke and cloud. South America dealing with a lot of floods as I had warned with that large low pressure system that was gonna be hammering it. And you can see that long wave of moisture that came through. But yes, parts of Asia, Southeastern Asia, are being bombarded with monsoon rain and typhoons. Man. We're gonna look here over the erup erupting and active volcanoes from around the world. And as I was going through here and counting them all, we counted 37 active volcanoes from around the world. And it would not surprise me if we had a couple new active volcanoes in Alaska along the Cascadia fault line. We'll see what happens here in the coming days. But yeah, that's all the actively erupting earthquakes from around the world. I'm just going to show you here on this next map all of the earthquakes that have happened over the past week. You can see a lot of the energy has been concentrated in South America, western parts of the Ring of Fire, Cascadia Fault Line, 
and also the Eurasia fault line right in here Mediterranean a lot of movement in these areas But again, I want to thank all my subscribers from around the world. You guys are awesome, and I love you all so much. And uh, please, if you can find 10 of your friends, I'd love to find 20 people, get 10 of their friends to subscribe to my channel. We'll be topping over 3,000 subscribers. Help me push towards 3,000 subscribers, folks. We're sitting at 2916. 84 more to go to 3,000. So please help me share the love help me share the awareness and preparedness with people from around the world you can see all look at all these earthquakes in Alaska so it's like all the energy that was coming out of Kilauea is now coming out of Alaska now stay aware and prepared the world we go for weather this is a five-day forecast brought to you by meteor earth this is all an app that everybody can get gives you great detailed five-day forecast uh, awesome visualizations so we're looking at the pacific ocean right now and the one two three four tropical storms one is an area of interest the three are active we have leapy we have the new one forget her name right now it escapes me <laughs> but um, yeah I mean the last year at this time we had a lot more typhoons and hurricanes to worry about so I'm kind of worried about what the end of this hurricane season is gonna look like overlooking North America cool down has come to Alberta some really cool nights Daily evaporation in South America, southern tip of America, Venezuela. These areas are all still seeing day after day of rain. You can see those that low pressure system just whipping its moisture arms towards the coast. Still a lot of storms in southeastern Australia, New South Wales, New Zealand. As these large low pressure centers in the southern hemisphere are hammering parts of Australia and Africa and South America. Overlooking Europe, heat wave is not over. And the Atlantic, still very quiet. Um, I was watching satellite imagery and it, I kind of feel like there might be a uh, tropical storm developing out of Africa, but not likely you can see here that large low reaching all the way to Cape Town but yeah the big weather maker and story for this coming week is going to be this large low pressure center developing parts of Colorado in the coming days and is going to be heading north northeast but watch for a lot of hailstorms tornado warnings and torrential downpours with that storm as well as these areas here in Asia. I'm going to leave you here with a quick look at our tropical storms from around the world. Here's Hurricane Hector. And Typhoon Leapy. And then this is the new low pressure development. I'm just gonna leave you with a quick look at the Pacific Disaster Center. This is the 
satellite imagery of the last 24 hours for weather, or sorry, the last three days for weather. As you can see, these systems moving around the world. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family across the world.